George Love, special teams coordinator, linebackers coach. I started off coaching uh, as soon as I got done playing. Um, worked for a guy, Rock Bell and Tony, who was a mentor for me. Uh, he's the one that got me into coaching uh, for the most part. I uh, a student assistant at Eastern Illinois after I got done playing. Um, from there, I went to Northwest Missouri State. I was a GA there for two years. Um, got a chance to go to the national championship twice. Uh, Mel Churchman was our head coach, great guy to work for. Um, and then from there, I went to the University of North Dakota for two years, uh, had some success there. Uh, we were a Division II program transitioning into a 1AA program, so I was part of that. Um, and then from there, I went back to my alma mater, Eastern Illinois University, um, and enjoyed one season there. Uh, my coaching career, coached linebackers, uh, defensive backs, and worked on all special teams. And now I'm here at Millersville University. Uh, recruiting the players, uh, we look for you know speed, athleticism, agility, change of direction. Uh, do they fit the mold of what our defense, uh, offense, and our special teams are trying to accomplish? Um, are they physical? Are they tough nose, tough nose guys? Uh, mentally tough. And then you know once we move along in the recruiting process, after we've evaluated film on that, uh, then we go to uh, academically. Will they fit in our our university academically, uh, will they go to class, I'll look at some of the intangibles, uh, talk to coaches uh, just to make sure that uh, they'll fit in with our program academically. Are they a leader? Are they a team captain? Um, will they fit well with our community here in Millersville and, and Lancaster um, and those type of things. I think we have a lot of great things uh, to offer at Millersville as far as uh, helping young young teenagers um, become men. Uh, football wise, uh, we have a Marauder Scholar uh, program that we use. Uh, that it tracks uh, community service, uh, your grades if you're going to class. Um, basically, uh, we use it so our players can use it as a, a peer pressure type deal uh, where our kids are accountable for making sure their, their, their peers and other players are, are doing what's necessary and what's right. Uh, study table, uh, there's a specific GPA that requires you uh, to go to study table. If you're above that, then you won't have to go. Uh, if you're below that, uh, then you will have to do a certain amount of time, uh, a certain amount of hours in study table. Um, our head coach does a phenomenal job of delegating each specific area, community service, grades, uh, equipment, whatever the case may be among the coaching staff so that we're all taking care of it. Uh, individually, and then we can all report together so that we're all on the same page. Um, and then, you know, individually being a leader to these guys. I mean, you know, I always contact with coaches that I previously played for, and, and they were had a significant role in my life. Um, basically, being that uncle or father figure uh, away from home and help raising them so that they learn the skills that they need to to go on when life um, moves on past football.